what is the true cost of the sixth generation Lexus ES350? This car range is between 22 and 25 million naira. But after buying this car at that amount, you just buy and not spend money again. No, you will still spend money. So today I'm going to tell you the true cost of owning this car in Nigeria. We start with the grill. This grill is 50k. And then there's this chrome around it. This chrome is 90,000 naira. If you park your car outside, they can steal it. This headlight is about 250k for a pair. And the facelift is about 350k. The facelift has another LED here. So if you want to upgrade your car, see, people disrespect this car a lot. People upgrade their 2007 Lexus. They fly over the generation and upgrade to the seventh generation. Very rude. I don't know why people ignore this car a lot. But if you want to upgrade your Lexus from this one to a 2015 look, this small, more, more L finesse look, you spend about 850k. You change the headlight, change the bumper, and change this front. That's all about it in the front. This side mirror, 300k. 300,000 for this side mirror because it's automatic folding side mirror. If your car has an accident or you buy a salvage one, this door is 250k. This door is 200k. And these boots, 200k, but it's not come in the light with us. Empty boots, caca, 200k. These four lights, one, two, three, four. Inner, outer lights, everything costs 400k. Eventually, happens to your tail lights, 400k. This bumper, 200k. While the front bumper, 350k for follow comp. The fuel pump, electric fuel pump, very expensive, about 250k to 300k for the fuel pump. And what's positive is bad fuel. So this is a car that when you buy it, always try to enhance your petrol by adding octane boosters and all that. Let's check out what goes wrong under the bonnet. Let's go. If you have any issues with your ABS pump, maybe ignore some sensors, ignore some things, some small more things. You spend about 150k to 300k on your ABS pump. Depends on where you are buying it from. Steering rack of this car, electric steering rack, about 600k. Actual one. But you still get, if you are just buying the rack and all the motor, maybe like 150k to 200k. But if you are buying the complete thing, about 600k. The engine, 1.3 million naira. Transmission, 3.2 million naira. If your AC compressor goes bad, about 270k. AC compressor is a common issue with this car because the automatic AC compressor might fail. Maybe you don't put the right gas or yeah, that can go bad. Catalyst. Catalyst for this car is about 350k. So if your car comes from abroad, they remove the catalyst in the pot. 350k to buy the actual one. And yeah, this car is not problematic. It's not problematic. Just treat it right. It's treat it well. It's not problematic at all. You know, this car, I had this car for over... I remember over over four years and the only error light that has ever come up was an O2 sensor and it just changed on nothing. Services at the right time, actual synthetic oil, spends about 90k every 5,000 kilometers. This servicing of a tin, some people say service have, because it has this synthetic, service every 10,000 miles. The thing about oil is that if your oil spends more than three months in your car, it doesn't matter if you've driven it for just two weeks or two times in that three months. It will expire because the oil is in the car already. It's already in the engine, so it will expire. So oil expires, like oil. You're not just changing it because of the mileage. You're also changing your engine oil because the time has elapsed. Do you understand? So it's not just about the mileage. The months also matter. So three, four months, engine oil in your car, change it, clean that engine so that sludge will not form and it's not damage your engine. So it's not just about Oh, 10,000 miles because I using synthetic, calm down. If I using synthetic, you can use it for 10,000 miles if it is within that three, four months. Do you understand? But if it passes that month, you have to change it because that oil has expired. So let me know what cost I did not mention in this review. And if you, if you know it, you can tell us. You can tell us. Remember, these are average prices, not the actual prices. We don't sell parts. We just give you average prices. We check high, low, average, the range, get these things for. My name is Crank. And this is 2345. Let me know what car you want to see next on this channel for the true cost. So yeah, till next time, see you.